So Juanita Bartholomew's Aboriginal Strategic Advisor to the Vaccine Commander, Gary Drybergs. Francine Eads, um, Aboriginal Health Lead for WA Health for the COVID-19 vaccination program. So today uh, ourselves from the State Vaccine Command in support with the a local WA Country Health, Aboriginal Medical Services, WA Police and other community support organisations have come to run a clinic and a COVID education program down here at White Gum Park here in Kununurra. So we've just come to be able to yarn with community and share some information and support them in making strong choices about getting the vaccination. So, so just getting the word out about the importance of vaccine, but we're just here to support um, local initiatives here in Kununurra and um, the East Kimberley. We've travelled to, we've travelled from Broome, we've uh, been in the Fitzroy Valley, mm. we've gone out to communities such as Wankajunka, engaged with uh, cultural leg uh, leaders through Kalak. Uh, we went across to Halls Creek and had a small yarn with them but are hoping to come back for a longer stay and then we've driven up to Kununurra and uh, been supported and welcomed by the community services here. We um, went out to Bayulu and um, some other smaller um, communities around Fitzroy Crossing. So in terms of the, the vaccination rates around the state, we are still, um, whilst a lot of effort has been done in the Keeping Culture Safe and Strong uh, program, mm. recently the Vaccine Commander launched the Keeping Culture Safe and Strong Get the Needle Now Phase 2. Mm. In terms of the numbers for Aboriginal people across the state, they are on the improve, but concerningly there still are some challenges with um, first dose, second dose and a third dose across a number of communities across uh, the regions. So the Vaccine Commander, uh, along with health and other service providers such as the Commonwealth and uh, WAPA and uh, the Pharmaceutical Guild, uh, are putting in a, I guess, strong effort to uh, try and provide as many vaccine availability options um, out there to community across the state, but particularly the Goldfields, Murchison Gathcoin, uh, Pilbara and the Kimberley, just to see whether we can lift those rates because COVID is actually here. Uh, we have more than 25. Soon, soon cases will be rising exponentially, but you know, low um, numbers here in Kununurra at the moment. So real good opportunity to um, you know, let community know what this, this new surge strategy is all about and the importance of vaccination. But getting, a, getting um, you know, out here um, to actually see what's happening on the ground and, you know, looking at the amazing work being done across uh, the Kimberley by um, WA Country Health Service, the Aboriginal Medical Services and um, general practitioners through WA Primary Health Alliance and other Commonwealth funded service providers and just saying you know amazing work you're all doing and we're here from the vaccine command to you know show that we're going the length and breadth of the state and offering support to um, service providers where we can offer additional help extra vaccinators or other bespoke um, you know solutions to communities across the state that's that's the feedback we're taking back and um, you know offering that support as needed. So in terms of Kununurra itself, we know that we have a lot of community here. Um, the second dose rate is around 52%, so it's good to see it hit the 50% plus mark. Third dose is around just over 20%. So we're really proud of those people who have stepped forward and we're hopefully going to see more people come in for their first, second and booster doses. Uh, it is really, really important to get the third dose. Um, some people are a bit worried and think that the two doses is just going to be all right. But importantly, two doses gives you a small amount of coverage or protection with Omicron. Like around 15%. Around 15%, yeah. However, the um, third dose takes it right up to 90% plus. Mm. So that's really, really important for a, a person to be able to build that wall. So when COVID comes, and it will come, it will hopefully reduce the risk for that person in terms of hospitalisation and death yeah. and or death. A clear message around um, the second dose gives you around 14-15% protection, the third dose actually over 90% um, 
uh, protection and, you know, getting across that vital message that the most important people who need to be fully vaccinated are people with chronic illnesses, um, frail, frail people and the elderly. So big focus needs to be on getting that message through to um, community people around those levels of protection and importantly getting that booster dose or that third um, injection because then your protection goes to way up, you know, over 90% and you know, the, the overall aim of that third dose is preventing severe illness and hospitalisation and possible death. So I would encourage everyone, um, if you can't get down to White Gum today, to um, find your nearest uh, clinic or if you need help, I'm sure if you ring the clinic they'll be able to do a mobile service to your community or to your house or uh, to support um, so you can contact OVARS, you can contact WAX, you can, I'm sure there's chemists or, uh, yep, they're um, vaccinating here in the park today so uh, make your way to get that as soon as you can. And we're offering a feed.